For the longest of time, non-Tesla EV owners have longed for and desired all of the features and the goodies that we have in Teslas. But there was one feature that Tesla owners have so long desired and never had, and even the humble Nissan Leaf has it. And at last, Elon has delivered. Hi folks, and welcome back to the Model 3 Man channel. And for as long as I can remember, everyone has been calling for true one pedal driving, where you can lift your foot off the accelerator and the car will come to a complete standstill. And finally, Tesla has delivered. Now, the new update 2019.36.2.1 brings with it true one pedal driving. Last night, I looked for the update, I didn't find it. But this morning, I found an interesting tweet by a guy called Zach and he said, if you just go into the controls software update and you tap five times on the advance button, it will go and search for the update and it will bring it to you. Go into the controls, go to software, give five taps on the advance button, and then up there it said searching for new software. Right now it says your car software is up to date because I've already done it. So those of you who have not got the update, either hold put a long press on the word advanced or tap it five times and it should change up there to searching for software and it will download it. Join me now as we go through the update and we go through the features and I take it for a test drive. Once it's complete, I'll receive a notification on my phone and it will show up here. Uh, interesting at the top there, it's a little download arrow. Hmm, hadn't noticed that one before. So, indicates the download is in progress, shows the progress of the download, and that's a great improvement over the old system where you never knew what was happening. And there it is, Red Dragon software update is available. There it says, software update, install 2019.36.2.1 now approximately 25 minute install. That's the notification at the top, the little alarm clock that says you do have an update. We'll go ahead and tap that now. And if I tap on install now, it should do it right away. Please turn sentry mode off first. We'll go into safety and security, sentry mode, we'll turn it off. So now we need to go to the top. We need to say install now and then triple tap actually just a double tap worked i know it's going to take around 25 minutes so we're not going to sit here and watch it we'll get back to you as soon as it's finished installing i don't think i've noticed that before below software updating it says they're updating electronic control units ecus they might be giving us even more information than we ever had before it's moved on to updating autopilot going to take a look in the app it still says software update in progress, but it definitely has finished. There we go. Software update is complete. Let's go take a look at the release notes now. So first of all, we have a new stopping mode. And effectively what that does is to allow the car to come to a complete stop. In other words, full one pedal driving. Before we had to transfer our foot from the accelerator to the brake pedal just to come to a total stop. Uh, now no longer and we've got a scheduled departure which is kind of an upgrade on preconditioning but what it does is it allows you to schedule a time of day that you would normally let's say leave home it'll make sure that the battery is warmed up and that the car is warmed up and that it is set so that the charging will complete just before your departure and with a car at a lovely, comfortable temperature. Then we have a power increase, which is allegedly a 5% increase across the board. We're gonna test that out. Automatic navigation. The car will automatically pick up the address from your calendar, or it'll automatically route you to your work if you're leaving home, or to your home if you're leaving work. And that's useful in case traffic is bad along the way and you have to end up finding a different route. Useful to have this automatically do it for you. And then it does say that there are minor improvements and bug fixes as well. 
So I've just got into the car right now and I noticed that the navigation has already been set to my work address. So of course that's part of the new update is where it will take an address from your calendar or it'll take the default work address and it will send it to the car and will activate it when you get in the car. Let's go in first of all and set up the new features. As a reminder, we'll go and have a look here. Release notes, stopping mode, control, driving, stopping mode. Let's go down to the controls, to driving, and let's go up to stopping mode. And you see you've got creep, or roll, or hold. And hold has now been activated as the default setting, and that's exactly what we'd like it to do. As we lift our foot off the pedal, it will slow right down and come to a complete stop and hold will activate. Number two, schedule departure. So here we are, we've tapped on charging. We're going to go down now to schedule. You can either start charging or you can click depart at. Now because I generally leave at about uh, nine o'clock, I'm going to set that for 9 a.m. We'll set it just for weekdays. So it will precondition the battery, it will warm up the cabin, it will get the charging done before I leave. So we'll close it. And uh, the next item on the agenda is power increase. Well, there is nothing to do with that. It just, it is an increase in power and hopefully in range, but uh, certainly in performance. And then automatic navigation, controls. Where are you? Where are you? Navigation. Automatic navigation is turned on. Automatically navigate to home or to work or your next calendar event location when you enter this car. Here's what we want to test. We need to test if we can discern more power, more performance. But more than that, I want to practice one pedal driving. So let's get out on the road. I've got quite used to the way you feather the, the accelerator pedal lifting it off and not slowing down too quickly, not leaving it too late, so I'm very comfortable with that. But coming to a complete stop is new to me. Let me just get over these humps and bumps and we'll get onto a bit of a smooth road here. And I'm going to try it on a downhill first of all. So I'm approaching a bit of a, a relatively steep downhill. There's no cars behind me. I'm going to come to a stop right by these cans. Okay, it's not coming to a stop. Let's see whether it makes a difference whether I'm on the level. Drive down a little bit here. And now that the road is level, I'm going to make sure there's no one behind and there isn't and I'm going to come try and come to a stop over here somebody turned in in front of me I couldn't really test it let's wait till they're gone and drive a little bit forward All right, so let's try it here. I'm lifting my foot of the accelerator, slowing down to eight, seven, six, five, four. It's not stopped. I'm still rolling. I'm about to hit a garbage can. Okay, that is not one pedal driving. I'm still gliding forward at one kilometer per hour and two kilometers. Let me go check those settings again and just see whether there's anything that uh, I did not do correctly. So this would be under driving stopping mode. Let's get into, oh, oh. Somehow it changed back to roll of the three, there's creep, roll, and hold, it went to roll. So let me go and put it on hold, and uh, let's try this again. 
So perhaps for the first time, we're actually determining whether the hold mechanism will work. So here we go. No cars behind. Put it into drive. And let's do it. Accelerating up to 40, say 50 kilometers an hour. And now I'm lifting my foot off, coming to the side of the road. 10 miles an hour. Oh, beautiful. That is great. Car is sitting on hold. I'm at a complete stop. Now, will it do that uphill or downhill? Let's turn around and I'm going to do it uphill and come to a stop and see what happens. So we'll pick up a bit of speed. So I'm just approaching the base of the hill. It's not a very big hill, but it's steep enough. And there is no one behind me. I'm just going to come to a stop on the side of the road. Take my foot off the accelerator. <laughs> That's pretty quick. That is cool. So what it did was, it slowed right down, obviously because of gravity and, and inertia. Um, but then just before it stopped, it slowly moved forward at one kilometer per hour, and then it applied hold. And then the car came to a stop. So let's try that again going downhill. And let's see if it actually stops on a downhill. Pick up speed a little bit. I'm just over 45k per hour. And I'm lifting my foot off the accelerator. And I'm coming to the side of the road. And it works. It works. And the car comes to a complete stop. This is what we've been waiting for. Tesla, what took you so long? But thank you. It's a great feature. So uh, let's just do a quick test and see whether we can feel that 5% improvement in power uh, and performance. I have no doubt I will not, but let's try it anyway. Of course, the streets are wet. Not ideal conditions in which to test it, but let's just do that. This video will bounce around a lot as I do it, but that's okay. So here we are. And I'm just going to flatten my foot. Oh, wow. That felt, that did feel better. That did feel more powerful and more responsive than it ever has before. So perhaps the cumulative effect of the 5% we got a few months back and the 5% we're getting today, giving us 10% difference, or roughly, um, en enables me to actually feel it. So. I'm going to try it again here on uh, Lynn Valley Road. Oh, we're coming to a complete stop. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't get used to it. It just feels good. And we're going to do the acceleration test now. It's waiting for the cars, waiting for nothing. Uh, nothing to impede our progress. Okay, so let's just flatten the accelerator. Wow, um, that's more powerful. In fact, the back wheels just slipped, slipped uh, very, very slightly, and then the traction control kicked in. But that does feel better. So I'm a happy man. And guys, this is why we buy Tesla vehicles. They get better with every update. They get better all the time. That is stunning. So here I am back home. Once again, I'll use the one pedal driving. Comes to a complete stop. I think I'm in love. Thank you, Elon. Thank you, Tesla. That one pedal driving truly is a killer. I cannot tell you how satisfying it is, how cool it is, how enjoyable it is to have the complete one pedal driving experience. We did not have that before. It would slow down, get down to five or six kilometers an hour, carry on moving, and you'd have to lift your foot. Here, this is terribly lazy, isn't it? Real first world problems. My foot will be completely rested. It doesn't have to keep lifting off, going onto the accelerator. I can feather the pedal and come to a complete stop, and I love it. So there it is. 
2019.36.2.1 and if you have not got it yet go into the software section either tap the advanced button five times or hold your finger on the advanced button and your car will immediately search for an update download it and allow you to install it have fun with it drive safely with it thanks again for watching don't forget if you're buying a new Tesla use my referral code at the bottom here and that gets you an extra thousand miles of free supercharging which is pretty much enough for most vacations thank you again for supporting the channel if you've not yet subscribed please do it click subscribe click notification and always be up to date on when we release new materials here thanks once again look forward to seeing you in the next episode <laughs>